Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we like to tell stories that have some connection with architecture one way or another. And today is, uh, today's story is no different. Back in 1929, uh, Indiana Bell Telephone purchased uh, the company that had been providing telephone services in Indianapolis and central Indiana and immediately decided they needed more space. They needed a new building. So they hired an architect to start designing this new building and quickly discovered that it wouldn't fit on the site with the existing building, which meant, you know, norm normally they would decide to tear down the old building, but they were running all of their um, essential services out of that building. There were 600 employees, and you've seen pictures of the uh, the operators pulling and, and punching uh, cords to make connections. That's what was going on in the building. Plus, the public was coming and going constantly. What do you do? They, they couldn't do without the building. So the architect who was designing the new building suggested, well, maybe you can just move the old building. Well, this was an eight-story brick building. Uh, was estimated to weigh like 11,000 tons or something like that. And how do you do that? But they did, believe it or not. They moved that building. They moved it uh, a total of 150 feet. They moved it, they turned it 90 degrees, and they moved it some more. Uh, to do this, they used a system of jacks that were essentially manually operated. And each time the jacks did their, their uh, thing, the building moved like three-eighths of an inch. So they did this over a period of like four weeks, less than a month, they moved this building. The amazing part is they never shut it down. All 600 people continued to come and go and work all day, every day in that building. The public came and went. Nobody felt the building move. <laughs> it just, it was one of the most dramatic building relocations ever undertaken, even to this day. They had to uh, reconnect, uh, extend, and make flexible connections for gas service, electric, heat, water, sewage, not to mention all of the communication system that was, was coming and going in that building. And they never lost a day of service in, in all that time. Um, by this app, the move actually took place in 1930. And by 1932, the, the new building was completed, and the whole move went down in history, so to speak. Now, the interesting point here is that architect who suggested the move and convinced them that they could do it was a fellow named Kurt Vonnegut Sr. You may have read some of his son's work over the years. Thanks for joining us today on the Frog Pond School of Design. I look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon.